Hello everyone, welcome back and I am sure you have already watched my first video on VBA sessions where we have learned how to record a macro in Excel and I am sure you have completed all the three assignments. In this video, I will explain what use relative references option do when we record the macro and the solution of all the three assignments. So let's start with understanding of use relative references option. By default, Excel record macros in absolute mode. So if use relative references option is not selected, macros will generate same result every time. If use relative references option is selected or highlighted, macro will make changes relative to the initial selected cell. For an example, if cell C5 is selected and use relative references option is not highlighted, press record macro button, specify the name and a shortcut key, click OK. Now move to next cell using down arrow key and write hello in cell C6, press enter. You can see macro records the movement in absolute mode, press stop recording button. Now if I select any other cell and execute the macro, it will update cell C6 every time. Now select cell C5 again and in developer tab, select use relative references. Now the option is highlighted. Press record macro button. Specify the macro name, shortcut, click OK. Now move to next cell using down arrow key and write hello press enter now you can see macros are recorded with action relative to the initial selected cell press stop recording now if i select any other cell and execute the macro using control y it will update the next cell so let's see how use relative references option should be used in the assignments in the first assignment, we have to show weekdays name from the selected cell. Now, in this assignment, to write the weekdays, we will move from the selected cell to next cell. Hence, use relative references option should be highlighted. In developer tab, make sure use relative references is highlighted. Click on record macro button. Specify macro name. Specify a shortcut key and select personal macro workbooks option and click OK. Now start writing weekdays name from the selected cell. Press enter. Now you can see when we are moving from one cell to another, it is using relative references. So after writing the weekdays, now go to developer tab, click stop recording. Now select any other cell and press control W. It will display the weekdays name from the selected cell. Now, as we used personal macro workbook option, so the macro will be available on all the workbooks. Now, open a new workbook, select a cell and press Ctrl W. It will show the weekdays name in the new worksheet. So, when you select personal workbook option, the macro is added in a personal project, which is available in all the workbooks. In second assignment, macro should filter 100 plus data in column D, copy the data and paste in cell A1 of a new sheet. Here all tasks are repetitive means macro will perform same task on same cells every time. Hence, there is no need to select use relative references option. So go to developer tab. Use relative references option is not highlighted. Click on record macro. Specify the macro name and the shortcut key. Click OK. The recording is started. Now select cell D1. Press Ctrl Shift L to apply the filter. Select 100 plus option and click OK. Press Ctrl A to select the filter data and press Ctrl C. To copy the selected data, click plus sign to add a new sheet, select cell A1 and press 
control V to paste the filtered data. Now activate the data sheet and press control shift L to remove the filter. Press control S to save the file. Go to developer tab and press stop recording button. So here the macro will select the same cells or range every time. Now assign the macro to the button already added. Right click the button, select assign macro option, select filter data macro, click OK. Now click on 100 plus button. The macro is executed and a new sheet is added with filtered 100 plus data. In third assignment, macro should copy the form data from range B2 to B5 and paste into sheet database. The data should be copy in the next available row. Now here, copying the data from B2 to B5 is repetitive, but copying the value in next available row is relative task. Hence, we have to select or highlight use relative references option. Now to record the macro in developer tab, select use relative references option. The option is highlighted now. Click record macro button. Specify the macro name, a shortcut key and click OK. The recording is started. Select range B2 to B5. Press Ctrl C to copy the data. Activate the database sheet. Select cell A1. Press Ctrl down key to select the last filled row. Press down key again to select next empty row. Go to home tab. Select paste transpose option. The data is copied. Press Ctrl S to save the file. Go to the assignment sheet. Now go to developer tab and click stop recording option. Now assign the macro to the button add data. So right click the button, select assign macro option, select add data, click OK. Now in VBA editor, selecting range B2 to B5 will be a repetitive task. Hence, we will remove the offset part and in the range, we will type B2 to B5. Similarly, in the database sheet, selecting cell A1 will be a repetitive task. Hence, we will remove the offset part. Now in Excel sheet, click on Add Data button and the new record is added in the next new line. For the second requirement, the macro should clear all the data filled in range B2 to B5. This is again a repetitive task means macro will perform the same task on the same range. Hence, there is no need to highlight the use relative references option and developer tab. Make sure use relative references option is not highlighted. Click on record macro button. Specify the macro name and the shortcut key. Click OK. Now in Excel sheet, select range B2 to B5 and press delete key. Now in developer tab, select stop recording button. Now assign this macro to the clear data button. Right click on clear data button and select assign macro option. Select clear data macro and click OK. Now in Excel sheet, if we click on clear data button, the macro will clear the contained in range B2 to B5. I hope you get the understanding of use relative references option. If you have any doubt or query, please comment and I will support to resolve the issue. If you like the content, press thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification. Thanks for watching.